What a great privilege to address the young people of Saba. Uh, I ask that uh, you keep your eyes focused upon Jesus at all times. Don't let anything distract you. Don't let entertainment, uh, sports, uh, even your academic pursuits, which are important, don't let that take away your time spending with Jesus personally. When it comes to young people, their lives are so full of many dynamic things that the devil tries to get you to not spend time with Jesus. And I want to ask you to make that a priority. Uh, take some time in the early morning to study the Word of God. Take some time to pray and ask God to open the way for you during the day. Take some time with the Spirit of Prophecy, beautiful book like Steps to Christ. This year, 125th anniversary of 125 years of this, the book Steps to Christ being in print. Use a book like Steps to Christ, Desire of Ages, Ministry of Healing, The Great Controversy. Uh, some of these beautiful books, Desire of Ages, use them to draw closer to your Savior, Jesus Christ. And then, secondly, go out and tell somebody about it. Be part of the mission. Be part of service to others. Doing something that will take your minds off of yourself and put it on other people. That's what Jesus did. He helped people physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. And he spent more time healing people than he did preaching. That tells us he had a special interest in the direct lives of individuals. So God bless you as a young person. We're told that with such an army of young people, rightly trained, how powerful the work of God could move forward. And that kind of idea. And I know that God will use you as part of the great Advent movement to be a wonderful representation of his character and pointing people to Jesus soon coming. God bless each one of you. Stay faithful to him. Keep your eyes on him. Don't lose your objective of being part of total member involvement, total youth involvement. Thank you for being part of God's great Advent movement. And we'll see you in heaven. God bless each one of you. Maranatha.